Today I'm going to show how to download weather forecast data as a standard CSV file that can be imported into hundreds of data analysis and storage applications such as business analytics tools, visualization apps, and databases. I'll start by going to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking on the orange button on the right side of the page. Your free trial account will give you instant access to a full 15-day weather forecast for any location worldwide. I'll select the option to manually enter the location for which I want to find the weather forecast. However, I could instead select the import option to load a sheet of addresses or paste in a list of locations as plain text. Instead of manually typing an address, I'll let the system automatically enter my current location by clicking on the Your Location link below the entry field. I'll also enter a friendly name so that I can easily identify this location in my result data. The default weather query is a 15-day weather forecast, so I can keep the default and simply click on the button to run the query. When I run the weather query, I'll be shown the weather calendar view, which is good for an overview. I can also switch to the grid view to see the detail level data. I could now click on the download button at the bottom of the page in order to download a CSV file containing this weather data. However, before I do that, I'll add a second location to show that working with multiple locations is as easy as working with one. As my second location, I'll add Paris, France, and then I'll rerun the weather query. In the overview calendar, and also in the grid view, you can see that my results show the weather forecast for both locations. Now that I have the results for both locations, I'll press that download button at the bottom of the page. This will download the full weather forecast data as a CSV file. As an example, I'll show you how to load this CSV file into Excel. In the case of Excel, you can either open the file via the File menu, or simply drag and drop the file into the Excel window. Either way, as you can see, the 15-day weather forecast has been loaded for each location in my request. Since CSV is a very standard data file format, you will be able to easily load this same file into nearly any other data analysis tool. If you would like to learn more about using other Visual Crossing weather options such as weather history data, historical weather summaries, and using weather data within other analysis tools, please see our other videos and tutorials. Thank you for watching.